We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T-Marts, we'll look after you. Well, it's round 24 of the NPL and South Melbourne hosting Northcote City here at Lakeside Stadium. John Kyrie, we've said it many times this year, but this really could be one of the most crucial games of the season, with the end of the season coming up in just a couple of weeks' time. Yes, we only have two games to go after this one, David, and it's important that we beat Northcote, a team that we usually struggle against as well. It's important that we beat them today to maintain our seven-point lead over the Oakley Cannons. Of course, Oakley winning on Friday night. An early chance, Petrevsky. Standing over the ball, delivers that with his left foot. Petreski clipping the roof of the net as it goes over, but not harming the South Melbourne goal there. The first chance for Northcote City this afternoon, and it's uh, Phil Petreski, a former South player, with a free kick that doesn't trouble Chris Maynard, who's in the South goal. That's a good win there by Hutsi Costas. Always works well in and under. And Jawadi. Well, it's great persistence by Jawadi. Icky Jawadi still going. Tyson Holmes there in the corner. Holmes steadies. Cross with the left foot. Looking for Louis. South Melbourne take the lead. Great build up play and a good finish by Lujic. It started with Jawadi. The cross was beautiful from Tyson Holmes. And Milos Lujic, John, he just knows how to score. Yes, and against his former club as well, David. He scored against them earlier this season that John Kane reserved. And he's done it again here today. We look at the replay here. Some fantastic trickery and some hard work there by Hickey Jawadi on the far side. He puts Tyson Holmes through on the left. Tyson Holmes has time to look up and then deliver an inch perfect cross to the back post for an unmarked Milos Lujic. That's a beautiful ball by Tyson Holmes. A fantastic assist. And uh, Milos Lujic there gets his header past Chris Petropoulos. He gets a hand to it, but he can't help but put the ball in the back of the net. We'll see here a better angle. Milos Lujic ghosting in at the back post. Petropoulos tries to keep it out, but he can't prevent the ball from going into the back of the net. And South taking a 1-0 lead here at Lakeside. Well, the crowd loving that here at Lakeside Stadium. A huge moment in the season. South taking an all-important 1-0 lead in this game. Timmy Marla. There's a cross-field ball there, and it might work for Musa, who leaves it for Norton here. Nice touch there, bit of class by the South Melbourne players. Musa now with the high ball in, looking for Reed. Petropolis gets to it initially. Now Epifano on his left foot. Epifano left foot shot. Petropolis gets the stop, and it'll be cleared by Chapada in the end. And that's away up the left there. South Melbourne still pressing for a second goal here. Another opportunity for South Melbourne. A bit shaky there by Petropolis, but he does get enough on, on the ball to clear it. It falls to Epifano, though. You don't want the ball to fall to him. And from the edge of the box, he goes for a left foot shot. But Petropolis, he does well that second time there, makes the save, and Chapetta eventually clears the danger for Northcote. Chris Maynard, a couple of clean sheets since his return to the side, pumps that one long and uh, Jamie Reed, nice work Jamie Reed, still going Reed with the low left foot shot seen by Petropolis, a nice move there, bit of a speculative effort for the second goal. Gasparis, well we know what danger he can provide, and a good ball in, and Maynard's reached that one and cut it off, tipped it over the bar. Geez, that's a nice intervention, because that was a dangerous ball by Gasparis, John. It was a very important intervention, David, a fantastic ball in by Marinos Gasparis. Like you said, we know what he's capable of, and uh, unmarked there is Christian Constantinides, gets the header, but uh, the uh, goalkeeper for South makes an important save. Well, they'd love an equaliser before the break, and that ball across the face, they won't do it like that, but Petrezky, maybe another chance if he can get round Marla. Petrovsky looking for support. They might be on here with a chance. It spills for Ward with the shot saved by Maynard. Gets down well to his right and gloves that one comfortably. All the danger men, Petrovsky and Gasparis. Delivering that one, Gasparis punched by Maynard. Sits up a chance. Oh, risk with the shot and tipped over the bar there by Maynard. A good double effort there. And almost a chance for Northcote just before half time. Good double save here by Maynard coming out well and punching away Gasparis's cross and uh, the ball falling to Anthony Risk at the edge of the area. Goes for a shot, it's going in. And Maynard makes another timely intervention and palms that over for another corner kick. Better angle here behind the goals. Maynard coming out, punching it clear and then following it up with a good save from Risk's shot. Palms it over and it's a corner kick for Northcote City. Well, he's having a look at this one. Seeing if he can find something he liked, the skipper. 
Puts that one in high. Tyson Holmes, good header, Tyson Holmes. He won it nicely in the end. Got it to where he needs to get it, but uh, Petropolis, he's a good enough keeper to cover that one, John. Good save by Petropolis, and a good header as well from Tyson Holmes. Probably didn't put in as much power as he would have liked, but nevertheless, he did put it on target. And uh, unfortunately for South, Petropolis is in the way, and he makes the save. Well, Northcote, they'd love to try and hit back before the game starts getting on. Musa can't quite clear that one. Danger here, maybe. Northcote with the cross. Shouts for a handball off Norton there. Couldn't quite tell. We might need the benefit of a replay here, John. We've got Liam Wooding there appealing for a handball against Brad Norton, uh, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, the cross comes in. Brad Norton with his arms down. Well, they can be given, but uh, in this instance, the referee doesn't pay it. That's a nice bit of strength there, and Northcote will get a chance to open up South Melbourne. Ball played in there, dangerous. Norton makes the intervention. Oh, free kick's been paid. Free kick in a dangerous position. While well, the South Melbourne players don't like that, Brad Norton appealing to the referee there, but the free kick will stand. Gasparis and Petrevsky. Petrevsky's dummy. The shot from Gasparis. It's gone in. It's one all. Northcote have hit back. Oh, that's a crucial moment in this game, John. That'll drive a dagger through the heart of South Melbourne. This could really upset their season. North gets celebrating hard there. You can see what that means to them to try and win this game, John. Well, that's a big blow for South Melbourne. Massive blow, David, but there is still time for South to uh, retake the lead. But uh, Gasparis uh, doing what he does best, spending that free kick past the wall and into the back of the net. Maroons Gasparis, he was here for several years. We know what he's capable of. And unfortunately, he's, uh, he's cost us big time with that free kick. Uh, beats Chris Maynard. Chris Maynard stretching for it. Couldn't get there in time, and it nestles into the bottom corner. 1-1 one, one here. The South Melbourne crowd starting to get a little bit agitated. Here's a man who can make things happen. Epifano gets on the right foot. Epifano plays it in for Jamie Reed. It was a great ball in from Epifano. Deserved a better finish than that. Reed just couldn't get the deadly touch he needed. Well, South of the chance to respond straight away. And a lovely cross to the back post by Epifano for Jamie Reed, who uh, couldn't direct that down underneath the crossbar and into the back of the net, which is unfortunate. It was a very good chance for South to take the lead there. Norton trying to get things going quickly on the left-hand side. Luic, good strength, Luic, and a great ball. Opens up for Tyson Holmes, one-on-one. -on -one. Tyson Holmes hits it across the face and wide of the upright. And that could be a very costly miss indeed, John. Well, South will be kicking themselves if they don't win this game, David, because we've created a lot of excellent chances with another one here from Milos Suic. That's excellent uh, hold-up play. And then a lovely ball over the top for Tyson Holmes, who just can't put this one on target. And it just rolls agonizingly wide of the far post and out for a goal kick. It's unfortunate for Tyson Holmes, who's played well today. Tyson Holmes there with the shots going across the face. Petropolis beaten, but so is the far post, and the ball goes out. Eager up again, and Hatsi Costas won so much of the ball in the middle. That breaks for Epifano. A chance now for Luic, who looked to be brought down. The referee doesn't want anything of it. Luic is furious. And well, that would have been a, a throw on goal chance there, John. It could have been a red card and maybe a penalty. It would have been a red card if a foul was given, David. Christian Constantinidis is the last man there, I believe. But uh, I think the, the foul was initially committed outside the area. Milos Luic is furious. He thinks that he was bundled over there, but the referee wants nothing to do with it. And he allows play to go on. Jawadi. Starting to make things happen now, South Melbourne. Jamie Reid will get that. He gets back to his feet, Jamie Reid. Back to Jawadi. Still going, Jawadi. Jawadi with strength. Turns onto the right foot, across the face. A chance played into the middle of the header. Well, it needed more power behind it or more direction either way. Norton's throw. James Musa. Pumps that one high, chance going in, Reed with the header, parried, and it's cleared off the line, saved in the end by Petropolis. I think it was Constance and he's got a foot in. South Melbourne just cannot find the back of the net, John. And again, we were saying, David, we hope these opportunities don't cost us in the end because we've created enough chances to win this game. Here's another great one, Jamie Reed's header. Petropolis spills it, uh, gets in the way of it. It's a scramble, Lewis gets a foot to it, but eventually it is saved by Petropolis. I think, like you said, Constance and has got something on this, David. If it is, it's a good clearance. Con uh, Constantinides there. Yes, he gets in the way of it, and eventually Petropolis clears the ball up, and uh, North could again get away with it. Well, a double substitution. Chris Taylor needs to try and make something happen. It's going to be Brad Norton and Tyson Holmes making their way onto the bench, and Matthew Theodore comes on along with Sean Timmons. Timmons just onto the park. We'll go back to Musa and Hatsi Costas. Try to get things going again, South. Eager. 
Plays Jamie Reed. Lovely ball from Theodore to Lujic and there's the goal! South have the lead! They've taken it back at a crucial moment. What a ball from Theodore! What a finish from Lujic! South Melbourne just wanted this game more and look at the celebrations. Listen to the crowd, John. This is a huge moment here at Lakeside Stadium. Probably the moment of the season, David. And we're going to have to look at this replay and see the fantastic through ball here by Matty Theodore. He's only been on for a couple of minutes. I think it's even his first touch. His first touch there steadies himself. His second touch puts Lewis through. That's a delightful, that's a divine through ball, David. Absolutely divine. And Milos Lewis has the easy task of just smashing that past. Petropolis and into the back of the net, it, and it is divine, David. I have to say that again. Look at that for a through ball. That's bread and butter for uh, for, for strikers. They love that stuff. And Milos, which all he has to do is smash that past Petropolis for two one. Listen to the crowd going nuts with their chanting. This is a pivotal moment in our season, David. Theodore, not going to quite chase that one down, and Northcote might look to try and get a counter attack. Still plenty of time things to happen in this game. Ball forward there, Theodore, good strength. Reed plays it in for Lujic, the flag is up. Lujic and all. Oh, well Petropolis has come out there. He's got form on these kind of moments and they're not happy there, the South players. That looked like an infringement there after the decision had been made. Uh, David, I think we see history repeating itself yet again against Northcote. So that's a nice through ball by Jamie Reed. It's very, very tight. The linesman flags for offside. Milos Lujic going for the shot and out comes Petropolis flying there with the studs up. On another day that would have been red, David, but obviously not tonight. Still danger here. Constantinides will get that long throw going. Puts it in. Timmons gets in the way. Chance. Gasparis. Good save, Maynard. Well, he was flat-footed there, Chris Maynard. He wasn't expecting it to go there. Gasparis nearly scored an absolute ripper. Gasparis almost coming, uh, coming back to Horn South again. That's a nice overhead kick. It is going in as well, David, but Maynard is alert to it and uh, as he should be and he makes a very 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 important save to keep South 2-1 up with only minutes to go it's a nice overhead kick there by Gasparis it's on target and Maynard pulling off the save there South still 2-1 up now James Musa instructing his men to get forward there can be only B seconds left Musa pumps it referee looks at the watch and blows the whistle and South Melbourne have it Possibly the biggest three points they've got this season. And it's not just the points, John, it's the way they did it. Listen to the fans. The crowd are absolutely loving this. They're getting closer and closer to that championship, South Melbourne. Great fight, great spirit from all the players tonight. An absolutely wonderful win. Yes, fantastic win, David. Probably the best of the season against Northcote, who we always struggle against, like I said. There's only our second win against them in competition in the league. And uh, to, to be one all, to dominate and not put the chances away, and then to finally get the chance and score and hold on to win 2-1 is fantastic. Look at the supporters there cheering the guys off. It's a very important win. It means now that we are one win away from the title. We just have to win one more of our remaining two games and we'll be the champions in 2014. I got Milos Lujic here with me and uh, firstly I have to congratulate you two tonight and 20 goals for the season. That's an outstanding achievement. 20 league goals just to clarify this season. Milos, excellent performance. Yeah, thanks mate. Uh, it's good to get a lot of goals to South this year. Um, when I first got here, Dimi said to me number nine's a curse. And uh, I think there was a few pre-season games where I missed a few penalties and um, I was getting a bit worried there. But um, now, nah, look, I'll take every game as it is. Um, the team's been doing well and I'm only as good as the midfielders uh, behind me. So Matty played me a great ball in today and Tyson as well. So, you know, it's just me just putting in the back of the net. Not too hard. Well, Paul Trimboli would be proud. I'm very sure of that with that number nine on your back. Let's talk about the game tonight. They really came at us hard early in the second half. Northcote it was really on us and we responded brilliantly. Yeah, no, they're a tough team and uh, they were very, very physical tonight. And, um, you know, in a day we grinded it out and all the fans were brilliant all night. And uh, I think that last 15 minutes they pushed us through to get that goal and uh, to hang on as well. And, uh, you know, we can see what it means to all the fans. And, um, no, it was great and uh, they've been great all year. A week off now, probably the perfect time for it. Then, depending on what uh, Oakley does in their catch-up game against the Knights, maybe the closest we'll get to a 2014 grand final against Oakley. Yeah, no, it's going to be a big game in a couple of weeks' time. And even if they lose, we still want to get revenge from the first game. They beat us 3-0. So I'm sure all the fans are going to come down to that one. And uh, hopefully we put in a good performance and we can uh, get a bit of payback from last game. Now, you must have been a little bit nervous when uh, Gasper hit that free kick there early in the second half and thinking, no, not this, not now. Wasn't the time to, um, to drop the heads, though, and we really responded well and inspired substitutions, too, by the coach. Yeah, it was good. It was, uh, I think we said it was about half an hour to go, so there was plenty of time to come back. 
created a few chances straight, almost straight away. So there was sort of no, never any doubt in my mind, to be honest, that we were going to score as long as we kept it tight again at the back. Um, we've, we've got a really good 16, 17. The guys that come on uh, did a great job. And, um, you know, I thought we maybe could have got uh, an extra one or two more. But end of the day, wins the most important thing. Well, mate, we've got a week off now, and then what's shaping up is perhaps the biggest game of the season, a little bit of a grand final against Oakley. How are you going to prepare for that? Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a tough uh, tough week ahead of us, train. Uh, we've got next weekend off, I think, just to rest the body, because there are some pretty heavy legs. Um, but, you know, we're we training hard through there, looking after ourselves, and to be honest, we want to uh, smash Oakley uh, in two weeks' time. Perhaps we could try some alternative forms to intimidate them. Big Griff, our resident statistician, part of our media team, he's winding up about the All Blacks. I just want to say the All Blacks smashed the Wallabies last night, but maybe we could start the game against Oakley with a hucker. Yeah, I think uh, Big Griff out there just on the side, uh, bare-chested, doing the hucker, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be t- such a bad thing. So, Griff, you can? Yeah, you said yes, so uh, Oakley look out in two weeks' time. Griff bare-chested, sick bags on standby. (laughs) You know, when you're within touching distance or something, I think everyone gets a little bit nervous and we certainly showed symptoms of that tonight. You know, I don't think we were fluent all night, but um, showed a lot of character again and um, got the result, got the three points, and that's all that counts. It seems your substitutions, the double sub with Timmons and Theodore in the second half, really swung the momentum our way. Was there any particular thinking behind that or was it just more to uh, try and get some fresh legs on? Oh, look, uh, yeah, we, I just tinkered with it a little bit, you know, we, 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 I could see where I thought we had the problems and, um, you know, Maddie's a very clever technical player in tight areas and we've kind of nursed him through a little bit, you know, he, he, he's been carrying injuries and that, but um, he's, a, he's a vital player for us and I think he showed that in the one touch when he came on tonight. I hate to ask about individuals all the time, but Milos Lujic, you obviously recruited him to the club because you wanted a goal scorer and he's paid that back, he scored 20 in the league this season, that's an outstanding effort. Yeah, I thought he should have had a few more, but I'm not complaining. But, yeah, I mean, look, tonight, it was good all round. So, um, you know, boys at the back, I thought Musser had an outstanding game. Mickey played well, you know, and Milos does his usual thing. So it's a team performance and we keep, uh, you know, we'll, we'll share it amongst the team.